Hi, my name's Jay, and this is for Mom Start's 2017 Holiday Gift Guide. And today, we're taking a look at the Epson Workforce ET4750 printer. It is an inkjet, but um, the ET stands for EcoTank, which makes it a little bit different. Rather than the cartridges that you buy, it actually, there's, you get jars of ink and literally fill up the tank. So it's a huge leap forward, I think, for inkjets puts them on par with laser jet printers. So there's a, a few things that impressed me. The first is just the ink capacity. Um, and also it has a built-in fax machine. It, it is a fax machine. And maybe a couple, maybe in the last five years we've had to use a fax machine twice, but both times it, it's kind of an ordeal. Sometimes you can save a little bit of time, and it's nice to be able to have that option of faxing when you need to. Um, it has a touch screen that was impressed me with how accurately it seems like I, you know, I have trouble dialing numbers on my Android, but I was able to connect everything really easily to our Wi-Fi, and I can use my phone to control pretty much everything I need. And the paper capacity, too, is pretty impressive. So let's take a closer look at the features and how it all works. So to kind of run through a few of the features and what to expect when you set the printer up, it's pretty much what you'd expect. You take the tape off, um, and, it, you know, connecting it to Wi-Fi is as easy as can be um, with these printers. It's the easiest time I've had. The touch screen works really well. It's very accurate. Um, you can see it's got a flatbed scanner. And what the, the biggest difference if you've never had an EcoTank printer is how you actually put the ink in. Instead of the cartridges, you've got these bottles. Um, and the process you go about with that is it's all contained in here. Now we do, I've uh, refilled an eco tank printer before, but it was a little bit different than some of other Epson's other models, where you actually had to unscrew it and be very accurate and pour it in. And uh, so I'm always kind of double, triple checking that I'm getting the right color in the right one. I mean, it's not a difficult thing to do, but it's you don't want to to get the wrong one. So on the other eco tank printer that we I've set up, um, you actually there, you unscrew it and actually carefully pour the ink in and you know you've, you've got to be kind of careful and I like I double and triple check to make sure I've got the colors right and one thing I've noticed when I was doing this while I was kind of double checking is that the ink colors are they're keyed so you can't you physically can't put the wrong color in the wrong thing so that's that's kind of a relief basically what you do this is an empty now. I've already filled it, but I'll just kind of run through. Get it in the spot. Push down very lightly. You wait and watch that fill up. Take it off, and then put the cap on the old bottle. And as you can see, I managed to do that without getting any ink anywhere. And you just do that with the, the black and the three colors. And you're set. And after you get the ink tanks filled, then it's just on to, you turn it on and go through a pretty standard setup. It's, it's about as easy as any printer I've set up. Like I said, the touch screen is, makes it all the more easy. So after you go through the whole setup with the uh, date and time and your uh, Wi-Fi information, you're pretty much ready to go. Um, I set this up with my phone. In fact, I'll pull this up right now. Epson iPrint is what I install, and that you can, you know, if you're on a web page, you can hit share, direct it to this Epson iPrint program, and you can print right from your phone from any other programs. You can also, you know, send your pictures straight to it. Another thing about this printer is it doesn't have a lot of complicated trays and options. So while you don't have like a, a 
you can't print to CDs directly, for example. What it makes up for is just in capacity. Um, for this is about the for for an inkjet. This is a really high capacity tray. It will take legal sized paper too. With, with that little tab, holds it out just enough to take legal sized paper. And let's just kind of run through basically how to use it. You know, it's what you'd expect. We've got the flatbed scanner, and I happen to have I don't know here's. Here's our uh, recycle schedule, the calendar. Just put it in here. We'll make a copy of this. I'll go color, pull the tray out. Although I've noticed it will still print it even if you don't pull the tray out. I'll hit copy. This will give you an idea. See, does a pretty good job. Um, another kind of cool option that I noticed, that I found, is that it's got a feeder. You can feed, you know, automatically. And what what you do is you put this in here. You see that light up at the bottom? ADF, automatic document feed. And let's do black and white, because it's a black and white document. And that way, if you have several things you're going to scan or copy, you can pile them up there. You can also scan them right to your phone in the same way from that Epson iPrint software. Um, I can go right into my pictures. I don't think this is a perfectly fine picture to have. So what I can do is hit share. Go to Epson iPrint software. Let's look at the settings really quick to make sure. Borderless. The right paper size, yeah, that looks good. Now keep in mind this is on just plain white flat paper. So you're not gonna get the photo glossiness, but So that last picture came out looking so nice that I had to I had to print it again on glossy paper. That's just something ready to be framed. So to sum it all up, I think this is a great inkjet if you have a you know a family that likes to print a lot. It would even be great in a small office. Just the capacity as far as paper and ink, it, you know, you could have it as a shared printer that gets a lot of use and you don't have to change the cartridges very often. It's nice to be able to fax directly from the printer, and uh, I love it. So, thanks for watching.